and welcome back everyone to a let's play of Pokemon Yellow! From our last left off, Peanut Voice helped us get through a lot of bikers that were standing in our way. Sorry, I had to move up the chair. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what's up here. Um, who do I want to uh, pull up first? Yeah, you're probably the one who has the least amount of experience next to George. So let's go find out what's on your side. Cycling Road is a downhill course by the sea. It's a great ride! Oh no, not you. I'm not dealing with you. I'm gonna wait until I have more tools to deal with you. Alright, if you don't mind, I'm gonna speed this up. Whoa, okay, that didn't go too well. Alright, so you're questioning where we have to go next. Well, um, if you do not mind me, I'm gonna put this on pause and I'm gonna meet you on the other side of the world. And welcome back. Remember this place? Yeah, we're on the other side of that Snorlax, finally. Um, but we're gonna go to a very useful place that will finally cut our traveling time literally in, in a matter of a few seconds. Which is gonna be absolutely grateful. How'd you get in? Good effort! Eh, not really all that much, really, I did. Oh yeah, and before I, uh, before I forget to say this, Oh, well, hold on, let me finish this text. Oh, you found my secret retreat! Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Time received HMO2. Yes. Finally. We have the legendary move that will finally make our travel so, 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 so useful. Fly. Can I choose this to Charizard? Yes, I can. Alright, I... Yeah, if you can see on the bottom, I switched out Shelter for uh, Pidgeotto because I wasn't I wasn't too 100% confident that Charizard could learn it, but I'm now very confident now that I can put away Pidgeotto. Also, to say real quick, I bought mm, a few Super Potions, Great Balls, and uh, uh, more than a generous amount of uh, Antidotes as well. So... If you don't mind me, I'm going to place back uh, Pidgeotto, and um, let's see, where else can we go next? Well, we have to uh, go to the fifth gym sometime or later, and uh, if I remember correctly, the fifth gym is the, to the right of this city, so it won't be too long before we can, uh, oh, I didn't mean to heal. Yeah, come on. Uh, before we can actually go up against the fifth trainer and see what uh, what the challenge is there all about. Sorry, Pajetto, you gotta go. Sorry, I couldn't use it very much, but uh, yeah, you were very, I guess, useful maybe sometimes in the past, and now you serve as nothing more than well filler until I get the. Uh, the audacity to get you up to a Pidgeot. Alright, why are you blocking this house? What do you want? Get lost! Hmm, obviously not a Team Rocket guy. Nope, nope, nope. Two gyms. Oh no! Get out of the way! I somehow gotta remove that stupid rocket. Hmm. Well, in any case... hoo You are trespassing in our fighting dojo! Indeed I am very much. Black Bell wants to fight. Sent out him a chop. Well, this is uh, more like a side gym. This, is, this isn't this is exactly the, uh, the uh, trainer gym. Or the, uh, the gym that I need to go in in order to get the next badge. That is the gym blocked by the rock. And of course, that's going to entail some uh, another huge side quest that I got to do in order to actually get anywhere in the future. Now, I'm also thinking that you're supposed to do some Fusha City stuff before you actually went ahead and uh, confront a Koga, because I don't know, uh, if level 50 uh, Venomoth when I was at in the low 30s? I mean, yeah, I get it that it was just that one Pokemon that you had to fight mainly. Um, well, he did have three Venonats. That, that was still over-leveled than my guys, but his main, main guy was the Venomoth. I, and I understand that, you know, it's it's a possible six against one, but I mean, really. I hear you're good! Show me! 
it, it doesn't generally matter how much Pokemon you have. It, it matters how powerful they are. I mean, it, it, a level 60 could probably take out a whole crew of level maybe 30 or 40s. You know, just saying. Venomoth is not exactly, you know, the biggest sword in uh, Pokemon, but it, it still packs quite a lot of um, punch, uh, including that, you know, he beeped it up with uh, uh, X attacks and uh, a uh, technique formation where he not only he dodges everything, but he also has freaking Psychic. Annoying as hell. Uh, oh well, enough of talking past events, now we're on to future events. Actually, I should be using Charizard for this, because he has Fly, and it'll really decimate uh, his these guys fighting Pokemon. And that's what I'm going to do, uh, to also get Charizard closer to um, the very useful move that will replace Ember, hopefully very soon. I cannot wait until stupid Ember is out of the way. Ember is so... Uh, it's so weak. Oh, here we go again with the Revenge of Primate versus uh, Charizard. This time, Charizard's all like, hey, thanks, bruh. Wham! Oh! Ow! I'm actually unsure if that critical hit was necessary, but if it was, thank goodness. We're getting closer. Hua! Take your shoes off! No, thank you. You actually can skip the first three trainers, I believe. Unless that guy actually gets close to you if you try to walk in that one guy's face. If so, then you gotta walk back out of the gym and uh, he'll reset back to his place. But, you know what? We're doing this quite legitly. Uh, the only time I think I really skipped trainers was that ghost place and that really is just all they're all about. Now, th now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably another reason why I was so underleveled. Maybe those Ghastlies had a lot of, like, XP and possible Haunters I could have fought in, uh, Pokemon Tower. Ah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. That's, that's history. Again, I keep talking about history. <laughs> you're not really do too much good when you're focused energy me. But, uh, I guess it is better than trying to attack because you actually are doing something remotely useful since you're not going to hit me on the turn that I use fly. Grunt! I am the Karate Master! I am the leader here! You wish to challenge us? Express no mercy! <laughs> well, I already defeated all your henchmen and now you're the master, I suppose, so... Alright, it's, uh, Black Belt wants to fight. Black Belt said, uh, Hitmonlee? Whoa! That is pretty, uh... That's pretty fly, if you ask me. Bad joke, I know. Well, there's not much he can do anyways. Except that I'm actually thinking about, does Hitmonlee know high jump kick in this generation? If he does, Charizard might be seeing uh, black and white. But in any case, Hitmonlee is done for before he has the chance to use a high jump kick on me. And also has the chance to level up. And now I'm... Hitting on Chan. Yeah, that's the boxing one. Oh, he's trying to send out a fire punch? Hmm. I wasn't figuring out that, uh. Hmm. That's interesting. Hua ha beaten! Well then, indeed I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. What's this one? Hitmonlee? You want the hard-kicking Hitmonlee? Well, it seems like most of the people pick Hitmonlee, so I'll just pick out Hitmonchan. I'm not going to use either Pokemon, but I'll just pick Hitmonchan just to be different. Do you want to give the nickname to? No. Alright, um, this actually is going to be a short episode because, well, yeah, things are about to come up pretty soon. So, we're going to find out what we have to do in order to get rid of that rocket in front of that door. This is Tyron King 10 and a Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow. And while I'm searching for the Pokemon Center, I'm going to get lost on the way. Where is it? Pokemon Center. I don't have to... There we go. Go down, and then go up. Alright, people. I'll catch you the next time. Peace. Oh, yeah. And question of video is going to be in the... Er... Let's see. 
Which Pokemon did you pick? Hitmonlee or Hypnochan? Peace, see you the next time.